Hey there, movie buffs. Welcome back to our adult film recap series, diving into the wildest 70s films. Today, we explore the 1973 classic, Behind the Green Door. Our story begins in a small, cozy cafe. The place is buzzing with the usual clatter of dishes and murmur of conversation. A cook asks two truck drivers to tell the story of the green door. You warm up my coffee and I'll tell you the story, the older gentleman said. The pair began to tell the story of days prior. We see Gloria in a 1957 Porsche drive down windy roads to a hotel where she checks in. After handing Gloria the key, the hotel receptionist does something suspicious. He makes a discreet phone call, implying he is informing someone of Gloria's arrival. Next, one of the truck drivers, Barry, notices Gloria, a 19-year-old heiress, having lunch alone at an outdoor restaurant. They never speak to each other, but the attraction is undeniable. Later that evening, as the valet was delivering her car in front of the hotel, he witnesses Gloria being kidnapped by two men. Rather than chasing them in the car, he gets out to chase on foot. Then we cut to Barry, curious. They pay the entry fee and sit in a small theater. A clown takes the stage, performing an act filled with whimsical and exaggerated movements. This act, reminiscent of Cirque du Soleil, sets a surreal and slightly eerie tone for the night. The clown's playful yet mysterious demeanor captivates the audience, drawing them further into the unusual atmosphere of the theater. Gloria is taken to a white room where a woman asks her to relax and prepare for the most exquisite moment of her life. Sure, because that's exactly what you'd feel after being kidnapped, totally relaxed. Well, at least this woman gave her a good massage. The first act they witness is Gloria being brought on stage, escorted by six women dressed in dark robes. An announcement declares that she has been abducted, but is now in a state of curious expectation and will be released in the morning, unaware of anything except that she has been loved as never before. The audience was instructed to observe the performance in silence or else. Gloria becomes the star of an elaborate and artistic performance. The audience is captivated as Gloria takes the spotlight in a series of dreamy, almost surreal scenes. Think of it as a talent show where the prize is, well, mystery. At one point, she's serenaded by a charming gentleman named Tony, and they engage in a dance that's as enchanting as it is expressive. Tony's entrance is grand and offers his hand to Gloria. They move gracefully across the stage, their dance telling a story of discovery and enchantment. As Gloria gets more into the performance, she's joined by a troupe of performers, including a key figure named Artie. The choreography is captivating, making the whole scene feel like a fantastical dream. We see sequences that are like a beautiful ballet, filled with graceful movements and captivating expressions. Each performer adds a unique element to the sequence. Some bring acrobatics, flipping and twirling in sync with the music, while others perform intricate dance routines with all their body parts. Gloria's interactions with Artie are especially mesmerizing. They perform a trio that blends classical ballet with modern dance. The lighting changes dramatically throughout this sequence, creating a kaleidoscope effect that is both hypnotic and beautiful. After the performance, Gloria's whisked away once more. Was it all a dream? Or did she really experience this otherworldly event? The mystery lingers, leaving us all to wonder. It's like waking up after a wild dream and realizing your pajamas are still intact. But why was this movie so significant? Released in 1973, it was a trailblazer of its time. Alongside films like Deep Throat and Debbie Does Dallas, it broke barriers and brought adult cinema into the mainstream. While Deep Throat leaned on quirky, almost comedic narratives and Debbie Does Dallas played on high school cheerleader fantasies. Behind the Green Door stood out with its surreal, hypnotic aesthetic and focus on the dreamlike experience of its protagonist. Did you know? Before her adult film career, 
Marilyn Chambers was a model and gained mainstream recognition as the wholesome face of ivory snow detergent. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.